Life is like a mountain. You go up, reach the top, come back down, set new goals, and start the climb all over again. The mountains we climb are not only made of rocks, ice, and snow, but of dreams and desires. Where there is a will, there is a way can be translated as, if there is a way, I'll find one. If there is no way, I'll create one or make one. There's always a way if we are committed and passionate. There are three basic rules of mountaineering. It is always further than it looks. It is always taller than it looks. It is always harder than it looks. This is life in a nutshell. Life is hard, life is tough, life is not fair, and we are not entitled to anything. You're not rewarded for your goodness, or no, you're not doomed forever. Life does not work this way. Initially, when I uh, started, I started off with nothing, with no background in climbing or mountaineering whatsoever, and also very late in my life. I'd already put in 12 years of uh, service as a police officer with two small kids. I could have failed miserably, but I took the risk and began my journey with one step at a time. Initially, when I started this uh, journey, um, it was tough to uh, uh, get uh, support from family, from friends, and at workplace. But you know, eventually, my persistence, hard work, and de determination was acknowledged, and I, got, uh, and I received support from the government, which is more important, from my family and my friends and well-wishers. Mountaineering is a true test of one's limit. Uh, it is, uh, uh, you have a lot of dangers, in, uh, uh, a lot of adversities, and uh, immense, uh, extreme uh, adverse conditions that you have to uh, uh, face. Reaching the top of a mountain is an incredible physical, mental, and emotional accomplishment. It involves, mountaineering involves training, planning, teamwork, skill, prudence, courage to take risks, etc., which can easily be applied to our personal and professional lives. I started off um, mountaineering. Um, I remember uh, I saw the glorious snow-capped uh, snow peaks after, in 2002, uh, when I cleared civil services and uh, went to the Lal Bahadur Shastri Academy of Administration in Masuri for the foundation course. I was awestruck by the mesmerizing uh, views of the Himalayan ranges, which left a deep fascination for snow-capped peaks and mountains. After almost 12 years as a police officer, my um, unique relationship with nature and mountaineering started when I was posted uh, in 2014, when I was posted as commandant of an armed battalion uh, called the 9th uh, Battalion PAC. It's called, in U Uttar Pradesh, it is called the Provincial Armed Constabulary. This uh, battalion was previously known as SPF, Special Police Force, and has had a, a glorious history of high altitude mountaineering uh, and uh, high, high altitude trekking. It manned sensitive high altitude security posts along the Indo Tibetan border before the IT, Indo Tibetan border police was uh, founded. And later, most of the uh, posts that the Special Police Force of the 9th Battalion uh, took care of were handed over to the Indo-Tibetan uh, border police. My fascination for uh, mountaineering and the curiosity towards mountaineering equipment, um, gear, tentage, triggered me to go and do a basic mountaineering course at Atal Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Mountaineering and Allied uh, Sports in Manali in October 2013. That was the first time that I went, uh, I was a commandant, I took uh, 30 days uh, leave. The IG who sanctioned my uh, leave was in fact quite uh, surprised and shocked that why I am taking 30 days leave. Maybe he thought that uh, I had small kids, so I want to take care of the children. But when I uh, told him that I want to go and do a basic mountaineering course, he was like, Aapko kya, kyu aise karna hai? Kya kar lenge isko, uh, 
पहाड़ को चढ़ के डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में काम करिए एसपी बनिए या डीआईजी बनेंगे दो साल में आप डीआईजी बन बन रहे हैं बट ही वाज काइंड एनफ टू सैंक्शन थर्टी डेज लीव एंड आई वेंट टू डू द बेसिक माउंटेनियरिंग कोर्स एंड इट वाज वेरी वेरी टफ आई वाज द ओल्डेस्ट इन द कोर्स देर अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी कोर्स मैथ्स वर ऑल यंग स्टूडेंट्स लाइक यू रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ सेवेंटीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड आई वॉज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट आई वॉज इन माई मिड थर्टीज एंड इनिशियली आई डेंट इवन डिस्कलोज दैट आई एम अ पुलिस ऑफिसर बिकॉज इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू देन यू नो देल ऑल मेक फन ऑफ मी देखो आई पी एस ऑफिसर आई है एंड बैग नहीं उठा पा रही है या चढ़ नहीं पा रही है so uh, but uh, one fact that was um, advantages for me was i was old and i was mature and i was not distracted so that is the secret of uh, you know uh, getting uh, anything done in your life you need to be focused uh, um, you know, uh, very well so that you can reach your uh, goals in 2014 august i completed my um, advanced mountaineering course and there my my journey of uh, climbing the seven highest peaks of the seven continents uh, uh, began and also uh, skiing to the geographic uh, south pole uh, my first mountain was uh, mount kilimanjaro mount kilimanjaro is in tanzania it is the highest peak in uh, Africa and it is at an altitude of 19,341. This was the first time I was climbing internationally and with an international uh, team, and I was exposed to the way uh, professional climbers uh, climb and how speed climbing is done. I had a wonderful experience on this mountain. The same year, I uh, climbed Karstens Pyramid. It is also known as Punchak Jaya. It is uh, at an altitude of 16,024 feet and uh, situated in the Papua. Papua New Guinea region of Indonesia it is the highest peak in Oceania and Australasia back in January 2015 i climbed mount akankagoa which is at a altitude of 22838 feet it is in argentina and it is the highest peak in south america this uh, peak is the only peak outside of asia which is about 22000 and um, this was my first peak uh, i had not climbed uh, such a um, big mountain before i had climbed stoke kangri i had climbed kilimanjaro beyond 20000 feet i had not climbed any peak so this was my uh, first peak uh, uh, of this uh, altitude i was apprehensive initially but my team and uh, our argentinian guide we worked together very hard and efficiently and um, uh, made the whole uh, climb even uh, this made the whole climb uh, very uh, enjoyable but uh, at the same time uh, challenging after uh, my akanka goa um, uh, climb in 2015 i climbed uh, i went to uh, in 2000 uh, in 2015 january i went to uh, nepal to climb mount everest i climbed uh, mount everest from the north side that is the china tibet side i chose the north side that is the china tibet side because i wanted to visit lhasa in tibet and uh, climb through the route which was opened by the ace uh, legendary mountaineer george mallory in 1924 unfortunately he died on this uh, expedition uh, on this uh, when i went in 2015 i remember i was at the uh, advanced base camp at almost uh, at a uh, height of almost 21000 feet and there was a massive earthquake on april 5th, uh, 25th uh, 2015 Uh, which affected the whole fragile region and led to a lot of uh, casualties and injuries this uh, expedition in 2015 to the mount everest was cancelled because the mountain had become uh, dangerous uh, due to this uh, massive earthquake i had to return um, uh, 
disappointed after so many months of uh, training and uh, struggling to get leave permissions, NOCs to travel abroad and all that. Being a government uh, servant, it becomes even more uh, uh, difficult. You have to travel outside, you need to have leave, you need to have uh, uh, no uh, uh, objection certificates from the intelligence, from the vigilance, from everything. So it's a very long uh, process. So I was very, very uh, disappointed. In uh, 2015, August, after this, I climbed uh, Mount Elbrus, which is at an altitude of 18,510 feet. It is in Russia, and it is the highest mountain in Russia and Europe, though the Europeans consider Mont Blanc as its uh, highest uh, peak. I've not yet climbed Mont uh, Blanc. Uh, after this, I um, went, very interesting, after this, in January 2016, I went and climbed Mount Vinson Massif, which is at an altitude of 16,050 feet. It's a small peak, but it's in the continent of Antarctica. And I was exposed to the harsh climate, extreme cold, remoteness and isolation, um, and it was very, very uh, demanding. Again, in 2016, April, May, I went to climb uh, Mount Everest from, again, the uh, China-Tibet side, from the north side. And finally, on um, uh, May 21st, 2016, I was able to summit Mount, uh, Mount Everest. It was a very long, tough, extremely... <clears throat> extremely challenging and exhausting due to extreme conditions. Uh, decreased amount of uh, oxygen, unpredictable weather conditions, uh, crevasses, avalanches, rock falls, narrow ridges, gorges, and steep rocky faces, all that. In uh, 2000, uh, January 19, uh, I went to ski geographic South Pole. Before that, I, I did not know how to ski. I learned uh, basics of skiing in uh, 2000 in uh, Oli, uh, uh, Uttarakhand, and at uh, Gulmarg, and went to um, ski uh, the geographic uh, South Pole. It was very demanding, very isolated, very, very uh, remote, and extremely cold. I uh, suffered uh, frost nip on my nose, and my uh, fingers and toes were always uh, cold. I remember um, during breaks, my guide used to tell me to just uh, drink and hydrate uh, uh, within minutes and start uh, circling your uh, teammates so that you keep yourself uh, warm. But it was a fantastic um, uh, expedition. This polar ski expedition was unlike any other adventure that I had done. And I feel extremely fortunate to have got the opportunity to uh, ski to the geographic uh, South Pole. Now, coming to Denali, I had not yet done two attempts. So in, again, in 2019, I uh, went to climb uh, Denali in May, June. And this time, the mountain gods were very, very kind and gracious and embraced me uh, um, wholeheartedly. And just in just uh, 10 days, I could uh, summit the uh, mountain. And uh, thanks to my teammates, there was a 18-year-old boy who was climbing along with me and another uh, climber who was around uh, 35 years. They set the pace and it was incredible uh, um, climbing with these incredible uh, men. It was, uh, you know, I feel uh, perseverance, patience and uh, never give up attitude was rewarded um, by the, one of the most remarkable and memorable climbs of my uh, life. Nothing is impossible if you are able to come out of your comfort zones, be ambitious, courageous, and uh, dream big and challenge yourself. It is very crucial to uh, stop comparing yourself with others, start competing with yourself, and uh, try to be the best version of yourself every moment and every day. It is uh, also... Um, uh, you know, uh, reaching beyond your limits is transformational, but reaching beyond your mental capacities and mental space is absolutely transcendental. You have to um, uh, not compare yourself with others. You need to, you should not imitate uh, others, but try to uh, explore your innate and hidden abilities and make a mark in your life. 
it is the will to win that matters and not the uh, it, it is not the will to win that matters it is the will to train to practice to um, you know, persist and to prepare uh, uh, even uh, against all the odds that you face without getting bored is what matters the most and also you need to uh, you know uh, i again told you reaching the top of a mountain is an incredible physical mental and emotional uh, accom accomplishment so you need to always focus and uh, believe in yourself so that you achieve whatever uh, you dreamt of or uh, thought of in tenzing norgay's autobiography james ramsey woolman says there is a flame in tenzing a marvelously strong and pure flame that no storm of man or nature can extinguish it is compounded of dreams and desire will and struggle pride and humility and in the end with the deed done the victory gained it is the man's humility that stands out above all his other qualities i wish each one of you dream awaken your ambitions and achieve your uh, uh, goals and go uh, beyond your uh, limits and edges and face any adversities and challenges with courage and integrity i also wish you uh, all your journeys and the stories that you create are uh, glorious and inspiring thank you